In the coming hours, we are expecting a statement of sorts from authorities about this investigation. What more do we know about the timing and what we could expect to hear? Well, we're expecting a press conference by the Minister of Civil Aviation here in Cairo in six hours from now where uh, he's going to say something about the investigation into the crash of the Metrojet airliner last Saturday. We don't know the details, but certainly uh, evidence seems to be mounting or indications seem to be pointing uh, to the high probability that this plane was indeed uh, brought down by some sort of explosive device. These investigators telling uh, CNN affiliate France 2 uh, that it appears that uh, this, this flight was indeed uh, brought down by some sort of bomb. Now, the precise details we don't know. Now, Egyptian officials have been very sort of hesitant to even entertain the possibility that there was an explosive on this plane. And in fact, they were quite shocked yesterday when the Russian authorities declared that they would suspend all flights to Egypt, not just Sharm el-Sheikh, uh, after they saw intelligence provided by the United States about what, whatever the Americans happen to have. Now, what's interesting is this is the front page of Al-Masri al yom a Cairo Daily, and it says, A2 Putin, stealing a line from Julius Shakespeare by Julius Caesar uh, by Shakespeare. And this really does reveal how increasingly the Egyptians are, in a sense, alone in their insistence that perhaps this was merely a mechanical malfunction. George? Russia concerned, Egypt, I should say, concerned, obviously, as Russia suspending flights uh, into Egypt, which relies heavily uh, on tourism. Ben, one other question, though, to you. Um, tell us more, please, about that close call with another plane that uh, was traveling to the Sharm el-Sheikh airport. Yeah, that happened on the 23rd of August. It was a Thompson Airways uh, plane coming from Stansted in the UK. Now, it, it, as it approached Sharm el-Sheikh International Airport, apparently the co-pilot saw what looked like some sort of projectile heading in the direction of the airplane. He took evasive action. Uh, nothing happened. Uh, but the British Ministry of Transport conducted an investigation into that incident and it said that it appears that it was not a targeted attack but rather was likely connected to routine exercises by the Egyptian military in that area. So this incident, which really does raise a lot of questions, what on earth are military exercises being conducted near a civil airport? Eh, this will probably come up as well when we go to this press conference by the Minister of Civil Aviation this afternoon. George?